Hi everybody, my name is Alyssa Prettyman and today we are gonna use a single ball and we're gonna do a little rhomboid rollout. And if you don't know where your rhomboids are, don't worry, it's gonna feel fabulous. So today we're gonna work with this single ball at the wall. The wall is really great for getting at a lot of zones in the upper half of the body because it can be really awkward to work with your body weight on the floor and sometimes it's hard to move and it's a little bit too intense. So we can really manage movement and pressure well at the wall. So with this single ball, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look for the zone of the rhomboids, okay? so. Take the ball behind you and just tap on your spinal column. It's right in the middle. It's an easy landmark for us to start from. So we find the middle zone, and then I'm gonna bring it out to the left. Now, it doesn't matter which side you do first, but just because you're gonna be on that side, I'm gonna go that way. So I'm gonna bring it out to the left, and I'm gonna feel that, okay, there's my shoulder blade, there's my spine, and right between those two bony landmarks is a column of muscle. So I'm gonna lean against the wall and put enough pressure against the ball so that I can hold it there between my body and the wall. And if I just wiggle left to right a little bit, there's my shoulder, there's my spine. Perfect, I'm between the two. Now, we're gonna step the feet away from the wall a little bit. Your hands can be in any comfortable position that you like. <laughs> and we're gonna to start to bend and extend the knees. Oh. Now you'll notice I also kind of toppled my hair into a bun because if you have longer hair here and it gets caught in the ball, it's going to feel really bad <laughs> and it's going to jerk your neck back into a Pez dispenser shape, which we try to avoid. So as you go up and down here, maybe just maybe drive a little bit more pressure as you pull the ball down the spine. Why would I do that? Well, if I'm constantly kind of pulling the muscles in this direction, if I'm typing on a computer, obviously this is a little exaggerated, but this type of force on the muscles of my back, if I can pull down the back of the body, it might help reset some of that tension that most of us go through on an average work day. Okay, so we're going up and down and that feels great. Maybe we're putting a little bit more force as we press the ball down the back. Maybe I need to reach back there and just adjust the position a couple times. That's pretty normal, right? See what we can find. And then the last thing that I'd have you experiment with here on this side is to take that arm. So you can see my ball is right there, right next to my little circles, courtesy of Bridget. <laughs> Thank you, Bridget. We love you. The last thing I'm gonna do is gonna take that arm around my body. So I'm gonna give myself a hug with that arm. And that's gonna kind of move the shoulder blade out to the side and help get it kind of curving around the back of my rib cage a little bit. So if I give myself a big hug with the top arm and then use the other arm to kind of reach back there and I'm, I'm hugging onto my skin a little bit. I'm pulling with the fingers and I'm imagining that I could pull my shoulder blades even farther apart and then start to drag that ball right up against the edge of the shoulder blade. Did you find that you exposed something a little bit sweet and sticky in there? Yeah, so we've moved the shoulder blade off to the side a little bit and we can, we can get it some tacky territory. <laughs> that tends to hide right under that ridge of the shoulder blade there. Oh, you can wiggle back and forth too. Doesn't that feel good? Mm. Really nice. And then, oh, when you've had enough sparkly joy on that side, let's shift to the middle. There's the spinal column, and then badoop, go over to the other side. Sound effects are optional. But to make sure that I'm on the muscles that I wanna be on, I'm gonna check on my two bony landmark zones. Okay, there's the spine, there's the shoulder blade. If I'm right between the two, boom, I'm where I wanna be. 
walk the feet away. Let the hands rest in a comfortable position. And then start to bend and extend your knees. The farther away I come, the more pressure I'm going to have against the wall. But perhaps the smaller range of motion I'm going to be able to execute. The closer I come, the more range I get, but the less pressure I get. So you can play with those things, right? Keep going. I'm going to reposition my ball because I want it to start a little lower towards the bottom tip of the shoulder blade. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and if you're just going up and down, it's fine, but maybe, maybe a little bit more slow driving pressure as the ball moves down the back. Down the back. And this can be a zone where we lose a lot of awareness, right? Because we can't really see it that well. Back of the head, back of the neck, back of the shoulders. Really hard places for us to, to see. Okay. That felt really good. Let's try for the hug, shall we? Take that arm, wrap it around yourself. Hold on to the other shoulder. And then let's take the other arm underneath and let's try to use our hands and imagine just so ever so lightly, we're kind of prying the shoulder blades apart on the back of the body. And can you slide that ball right up against that inner edge of the shoulder blade? Oh, maybe you wiggle left to right here too. I got a little far away from the wall, so I'm just gonna reset. And there's a lot of resetting in this one, especially when you work with your back against the wall. Oh, that's so nice. Take about another minute here, just explore. And if you find something that's a little sticky or intense, by all means, slow down, pause, Introduce a nice calming breath. And then see if that helps you move again without necessarily being so intense. Some of this can get a little bit intense. Ah, <sighs> okay. Stand up. Release the ball. Notice how your shoulders feel. Probably pretty good right now. And then we're gonna do one more little zone. So we've gone kind of up and down this column between the spine and the shoulder blade, the inner edge of the shoulder blade here. Now we're gonna bring the ball up around this little top corner of the shoulder blade. And this will get at levator scap, which is a muscle that holds on to both your neck bones and this upper corner of your shoulder blade. So if we have neck tension from sitting at a desk for too long, this can be part of the package that we might use to de-stress our computer neck. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach the ball behind us, shoulder blade spine, shoulder blade spine, right between the two. We'll start a little bit higher, and then I'm gonna lean the ball between my body and the wall. Walk my feet away a little bit. And then as I bend the knees, I'm gonna drag the ball up towards the tip of the shoulder blade and out around the edge of it. So it's like I'm using the ball to trace almost a crescent moon shape around that corner of the shoulder blade. So. In case you can't see, it's going from here and back around. And so a little C shape here. And that should feel most luscious and excellent. And I always say extra credit if you drop the ball and it goes flying across the room. That's how you know you've made it in the ball rolling universe. Good, let's shift to the other side. Can you do it with no hands? Badoom, there's the spine. Badoom, there's the other, the other side, the other shoulder blade. I'm gonna walk my feet away, bend the knees, 
go over that corner and come back around. It's so good, right? Mm -hmm -hmm. And we draw that C shape seven, 15 times. Depends on how fast or slow you're going. Ooh, hair pull. <laughs> and even here, I'm going to put just a little more pressure down the back, right? Going out to the side is lovely. I'm going to put a little more pressure as I come back around and go down the back. Let's do one or two more. Oof, lovely. And so that, my friends, is a little rhomboid reset with a levator scap bonus. <laughs> I hope you had a good time. Check out my channel for more videos.